yellow snapshots across Canada. This is a trip I took in June of 2010. I have to start out by showing you what I did with my car. I took the front seat out, the passenger seat, and uh, put a piece of plywood in there and put a mattress on top of it. And I was ready to go. I saved myself a whole lot of money not having to sleep in those hotels all the time, 50 or 60 or $70 a, a night for cheap one. I had a I had a good time doing that. That was fun. This is a giant arborvita tree. I have no idea where, where I found that picture, but I think it was in Canada. Um, after stopping to visit with uh, my cousin in, uh, right across the border in Canada, I, uh, I started up into the Rockies. Well, this is being done from memory because I don't have my notes from uh, a year ago when I made my original DVD. But it, uh, it ran way too long to put on YouTube, so I decided I'd produce a shorter version for YouTube. Anybody who's interested in Canada scenery or driving across Canada, this is a a great introduction to that. My plan was to drive on Highway 1 all the way across. I found that Highway 1 doesn't actually go all the way across. But I had fun finding my way anyway. The goal was um, to get to uh, get get up to uh, Nova Scotia. My brain isn't working today. It hasn't rained for a couple of days. I think that's probably the, the problem. Anyway, I was going to go to Nova Scotia because I'd never been there before and I wanted to see just how far north and east I could drive on the continent and that was about it. I was tempted to take a ferry over to Labrador and did not do that. I think I didn't want to spend the money. That says Alberta up there, that entering Alberta. This is a, a, a critter crossing that they have on the freeways in the mountains in Canada. So the, the critters have a way to get across. That bridge was not for, uh, for vehicles. And there's another one. Beautiful country heading up into the into the Rockies. This is or around or near Banff National Park. Well, we're out of the mountains now. This is uh, get down the flat ground. There's Calgary off in the distance. I drove through Calgary. But I didn't take any pictures. Entering Manitoba. Took pictures of Parliament buildings more than anything else. Well, not more than scenery. But when I was in the city, that was my that was my main goal. The uh, Parliament buildings and the surrounding campus. I 
that's in honor of women's suffrage. Real, he was a, a great hero in Canadian history. Nice country for growing things. Hope that guy doesn't sue me if he sees his picture on YouTube. But he was conked out pretty much about 10 o'clock in the morning. Nice warm sunshine to put him to sleep. This is, uh, this is rough country to build a highway through. And it appears though that the earth on top of those rocks is only about a foot thick. I don't know how anything can grow, but it sure is green country. Had to be a job to build a highway through that. If I slake, I don't know what happened to all my pictures. I had a couple of nice pictures of the Fice Lake area. I don't know what happened to them. I drove four or five miles on this dirt road to get to the suspension bridge, and when I got there, I found out I was too early in the morning. I had to drive all the way back again. I wasn't going to wait. I think I had to wait two hours. So I just kept moving. This was a beautiful scene when I drove by, and then when I, after I, I, I took the picture, I realized that that was going to be a beautiful picture, and it certainly turned out to be. I don't know where it was or what it was. It might have been a cement plant. I don't know. It sure made a pretty picture. Now we're Old Woman Bay. I don't know if that's halfway across Canada or not, but it's not too far from halfway. Batchawana Bay. You folks who know Canada will know where that is. I'm not sure if this is in Mattawa or not. But this is uh, some artwork uh, one of the local artists did. That uh, the guy behind the plow is, uh, or behind the horse, I don't see a plow there. He's almost eight feet tall with his hat on. That's a, that's a big piece of artwork. Claremont, I don't know what his last name is, Art Gallery, Mattawa. I took this sign just to remind me where this next picture was taken. You can imagine canoes full of Indians attacking canoes full of white guys with their animal pelts on that river. See a lot of these these guys in Canada. They're very interesting. Sign says Ottawa. Downtown Ottawa. This building burned down in the late eighteen hundreds. Anyway, I guess they they uh, were able to use the stone to rebuild the uh, the clock that was in the top of that tower. Fell. The fire started about 10 p.m. The clock fell about midnight. Um, the uh, the bell fell about midnight.
So after the uh, construction work was all done, there's a, another memorial. Women are persons. So anyway, when when the new building was built, they put them on that. that that's that's a monument to skinny people, I think. They didn't put the bell back in the tower because I suppose the fire destroyed its ring, so they made a monument here to it. So it just sits there right behind the building, and there's a McKinsey statue. And that's what the building looks like today. It would look better if they'd move all those construction sites out of the way, buildings. French, everybody writes, reads, talks French up there. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. The map was in English. You have to forgive me. I try to be funny, but I'm <laughs> afraid I'm not too often. That, uh, that man is not, that statue is not standing on the other side of the concrete. That statue is part of the concrete. It's really interesting to walk up to it. You just see that arm coming out of the concrete. All by itself. They were enjoying the music. They had a band there having a good time. Parade in town. Coming up the street as I snapped the picture. Lonely fisherman out there. I hope he caught something. Entering Nova Scotia. That was my goal. Sure had nice weather all the time. A little cloudy at, at times, but it was a nice day. This uh, first part will end before we actually get to, uh, to Meat Bay. But Meat Bay is where I was headed because that is just about as far as you can drive on the uh, North American continent. At least as far as you can drive in an automobile. Even the last five miles of that's dirt road. But that'll be on part two. Part one is about to, about to end. Well, I had to take a picture of that wood pile. This was June and they're ready for winter already. And I like the smiley face on that entrance to the fellow's driveway. Alexander Graham Bell's memorial building. So we'll see you in part two, folks. I uh, I really hope you get to it and, and, and watch it, because this is the end of part one. <laughs>